Good morning. I'm Reverend Jane Rideout, and I'm bringing you the devotion today. And I'm going to read to you this morning out of a little book called Ecclesiastes, which is in the Old Testament. Um, Ecclesiastes is kind of a strange little book. We don't often hear people preach out of it. Uh, some people call it a very pessimistic book, but others would call it a very realistic book. The author um, is most, like, most likely a philosopher or a sage. A lot of people attribute this um, particular book to King Solomon. What is unique about it is that whoever wrote it, they wrote it very late in life. And so it's basically a book from the perspective of someone who's lived a long time and has a very real and realistic view of how life works. Um, the overall wisdom of this book is that it is, um, we must face the facts of life and live with them and to learn to live with what we cannot change. I thought that seemed kind of appropriate with our reality now in the coronavirus. We are living in quarantine or many of us are living in quarantine while others are going out each day, um, possibly exposing themselves and so it's a very strange time. Um, for those who are living in quarantine, um, this is a particularly challenging time to be somewhat isolated. The scripture I'm going to read to us today is out of Ecclesiastes 4, verses 9 through 11. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. I chose this particular scripture because um, it's about community, about our need for each other. And I think probably if you're watching this devotion, you already understand that we need each other. But this takes it even a step further. And that's challenging in this time. Some of you are living in homes with larger families and you're kind of looking for a break, but others are alone in the house or maybe one other person and it's become very quiet and isolating. But what this scripture tells us is that we need to remember the importance of other people. We need to be intentional in reaching out to others. So while it may feel strange or awkward to you, it's, this is now a time when you need to start calling people, you need to start emailing people, and um, being honest about your need for community. If you are in a house with, house with lots of other people, you need to be thinking about those who are alone, those people that you need to call and reach out to and, and ask if they're all right. Um, I think more than ever, we need to remember that we were created to live in community and we are most strong when we are together. The third statement, which is not considered a theological statement, but it is for me, a, a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. I hear that and I think about myself, God, and my community, each being a strand, each being necessary. Um, I cannot live without God and I cannot live without my community. And so we all need to be intentional to take care of others, but also to take care of ourselves. If you were to go to our website, you could um, go to fumcwp.org. It comes up to the front page and at the top there is the word discover, click on that. And if you look down at the drop down, you will see staff and leaders, click on that. You'll be able to see all the pastor's emails and the staff's emails. And I want to encourage you that you can email any of us, send us your phone number, and we will call you. Um, if you want to reach out to me um, and send me your number, I'll call you on a weekly basis because community is really important. And if we don't know each other, this is our opportunity to get to know each other. But I know all the pastors would love to hear from you and the staff would love to hear from you. Um, we just want to keep our family strong and we want to be there for each other. I'm going to close with a short prayer. Loving God, I thank you for the gift of community. Um, in this time when we cannot change our circumstances, give us the peace to sit in it 
but more importantly, help us to have the courage to reach out to, e to each other so that we can be the family you've created us to be. In your precious name, amen. Have a good day.